It is a statement getting national attention when the Indiana State Police is working to clean up. Today, the State Police Superintendent Paul Weitzel told state lawmakers if it were up to him, he would make marijuana legal and tax it. Our Ebony Monet digs into what that would mean. Ebony? Raphael, state police quickly issued a follow-up statement saying Weitzel's statements were simply philosophical, but that has done little to silence the buzz. There we go. These are some of our high-end pipes here. People here at Indianapolis is high on the hill say they're on cloud nine. We're very heartened by them. We're very excited. We think that perhaps the struggle here in Indiana is almost to an end, you know, and so we're very happy. This elation comes after the head of the Indiana State Police told lawmakers he'd support the idea of imposing a tax on marijuana. He's right. He's absolutely right. And he's been on the force long enough to know what's real, you know. Robin Alexander is on Indiana's normal board, which works to reform marijuana laws. They say Paul White sells comments to the state budget committee, lends credibility to their cause. The penalties are much too severe, and they have been for a very long time. I mean, it, it's well understood that, you know, having, having a certain amount of marijuana will actually put you in prison longer than if you killed your family. It's just a fact of life. The war on drugs has failed. Indiana Normal estimates the state spends about $150 million a year in the fight against pot. N estimates legalizing it will bring in at least $50 million a year. Right now, here in Indiana, the only legal use for water pipes like this one is for tobacco consumption. But the efforts to change that is getting bipartisan support. Republican State Senator Brent Steele says, as a practicing attorney, I've seen a significant amount of state dollars spent on prosecuting and incarcerating individuals caught with small amounts of marijuana. We have to ask ourselves if this is the best use of our criminal justice resources. Both he and Democratic Senator Karen Tallian are authoring proposals to decriminalize marijuana in small amounts. I think they ought to be fighting more of the major crimes that are going on, the rape, the murders, the, the stuff that really Counts. While state police says its leader never meant to promote marijuana legalization. Now, a spokesperson for Governor-elect Mike Pence tells us he also opposes the decriminalization of marijuana.